Jason, do you have any theories about how we might use technology like the pyramids or other in order to stop the Phoenix reset? Okay, you need to watch my, my Phoenix playlist because I go into great detail. Not, and it's not just theoretical material. I show the math. I show the measurements. They're irrefutable. I challenge anyone to refute any of that data. That, that, it's a holographic computer template is what we're looking at. In the, in the Great Pyramid. Math doesn't lie. I may not be able to interpret exactly what that math is conveying, but I show 100% that those, that those, that those uh, measurements do exist and what they relate to, and they're fascinating. Great Pyramid. But my, my Giza playlist goes into all those details. Yeah, the pyramid, the pyramid is a device, and it can be activated. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. And it doesn't even matter that it's been damaged. Because you have to understand, the operational apparatus of the Great Pyramid is entirely internal. All those, all those blocks in the pyramid, that is nothing but environmental armor to keep it intact. Those of you have ever seen the original entrance to the Great Pyramid, it's exposed. The blocks have been moved out the way to show the original, the original entrance. The, the machine function of the engineering function of the Great Pyramid, it only needs that entrance, that descending passage, that, that subterranean chamber, that well pit going to a water source underneath the pyramid, the ascending chamber that goes to a secondary tunnel that goes into the Queen's Chamber where an apparatus fit into the wall in this huge alcove. Uh, the alcove is even shaped uh, variegated like the huge, gigantic grand gallery that's got the technolithic... Uh, uh, it's like it's like tongue and groove. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's like a mechanism went up and down. Anybody who's seen pictures of the Grand Gallery knows what I'm talking about. But uh, it too is variegated walls to, leading up to a ce seven sections of a ceiling. But it goes up at this at this bizarre 26 degree angle up to the antechamber, uh, the an or to the Great Step, which is the central axis of the entire monument. Which is fantastic. It's almost like it took a computer to build this place to get these dimensions so precise. So uh, it goes all the way up to a great, it's called the Great Step. Well, the Great Step face, the face of the Great Step to walk into the antechamber, into the Great Pyramid, the great, the, I mean the King's Chamber, the face of that Great Step, the, the grain calorie goes up at 26 degrees. Then there's a step, but the face of that, that step is the exact center of the huge, gigantic monument that covers 13 acres and is 454. How did they get that precision? It's fantastic. So, anyway, it's a machine. It can, it can, and all machines can be started. We just have to figure out the components. It might not be able to operate under our present biosphere. It may require the vapor canopy. I don't know. I just don't know. I haven't got that far.